Hello everyone, Michael here from the Daily S4 YouTube channel and today I want to cover multi-window. Now multi-window was first seen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and eventually an update arrived on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and of course it now is on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So to use multi-window you first need to make sure you have it enabled so go to your notification bar, enable it. Yeah, you should see that there's a little tab thing that showed up. So if it's not there and you have it enabled, you could bring it uh, bring it up by holding the back button. Now maybe you might not use it all the time, but you want to have it enabled. You can make it disappear by holding the back button. Okay, and let's make it reappear by holding the back. You can move where this tab is. So you just hold on it, and you could kind of move it around, and it kind of locks in place in the center if you're big stickler on symmetry kind of locks in place in the middle there okay, and another thing is you could you could move where it is you could expand it and then from here you could move it there we go you can move it to the right side but what's interesting is it looks like the multi window has got an update and on the galaxy notes too you used to be able to put it up on top or the bottom but you can't do it anymore on the s4 just put it on the left or right side the apps that are available here uh, you might find that there are some additional apps that you can move. You don't need uh, Gmail or something like that. Just put it in there so you don't have it on this list all the time. Or say that uh, you have an app in this list here and uh, you want to have it accessible here all the time, then just drag it. So let's go over a couple of uses for the multi-window feature. Say that you're having a casual conversation over text with a friend. And then say you want to browse, uh, you're reading an article on a website or viewing a video. Um, it would be great to use for that. So you could see that you could resize uh, either window right, uh, any way you want. And um, you could see the arrow is pointing to the application on the top. You select the one on the bottom, points to the application on the bottom. And if you want these controls to show up, just uh, tap on the uh, middle bar and you could get these controls to switch. Uh, this is maximize the, the app that it's pointed to and this is to close it out. Now here's something interesting that's different than any um, multi-window feature that we've seen so far um, such as the Galaxy Note 2. See that um, you enter in into a text field. You usually got like a smaller keyboard that popped up on the bottom that you can move around. Now it seems like it pushes up the second window into this little space here, and then you get that keyboard and the the app that you are using. And if you can back out of this, it just goes back to normal. And one last thing I want to say about the multi-window feature is that you need to definitely put on your thinking caps on how to get the most out of the feature. But it is very valuable when you remember to use it. For example. If you're into watching something like a Ustream podcast and keeping up to date with your stocks or MBA scores, this may be an awesome feature that you use all the time. Those are all the basics for multi-window. Now, um, I guess the million dollar question is, how do you get more apps on here? And um, unfortunately, you cannot just drag something you know, into there. Yeah, it, it just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. And the only way to get apps on there if you don't have your device is to get apps that support the multi-window feature. So in this list, you could see that Twitter is, um, I don't have Twitter in installed on here, so Twitter doesn't show up on this list. But when you install apps from the Google Play Store, that support multi-window feature like Twitter, it will show up. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. So it should be in this list now. There we go. So Twitter has shown up on this list. And uh, once again, if you don't hack or root your device, that is the only way you can get additional apps into that list. And I'm happy to see the growth of apps that support multi-window. 
is slow, but it, it is also steady. I'm seeing more and more apps. So that's good, but I wish all apps supported it. So that's the end of the short video. And if you haven't been to my channel yet, please come to my channel and check out my other videos on the Samsung Galaxy S4. I also run a channel for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I plan on making videos as often as possible so that you can get the most out of your brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. Once again, thank you for watching.